As the heat continues to rise for Jess Staley, the departing chief executive of Barclays, voices of ill repute are beginning to appear in the media. J.P. Morgan, the U.S. bank where Staley worked and had the convicted sex offender Jeffrey Epstein as a client, is now looking to depose Staley in a two-day process set to take place next week. The bank claims Staley deliberately concealed critical information about the late financier and is calling for him to be held responsible for the penalties the U.S. bank may be forced to face in two separate lawsuits linked to Epstein's alleged sex trafficking of women and girls. J.P. Morgan is being sued by two separate entities, the U.S. Virgin Islands, where much of the illegal activities were said to have taken place, and by a woman who is only known as Jane Doe 1. They allege that Staley knew Epstein was trafficking young women and visited his residences where victims were present. Additionally they reference a series of emails exchanged between the two which include suggestive photos of women in seductive poses, as well as references to women being referred to as Disney princesses. Staley has continued to deny any involvement in the aforementioned criminal activities. Though J.P. Morgan has accepted that no one could have predicted what Staley allegedly went and did, if true, it claims that he violated a duty by putting his own personal interests ahead of the company's. With the trial date for the U.S. Virgin Islands and Jane Doe cases against J.P. Morgan set for October later this year, it appears Staley has plenty of explaining to do in the coming weeks. For those from the corporate and banking community, the accusations are certainly a salivating topic and with no outcome as to the truth revealed as yet, the public is waiting with bated breath for the conclusion. From the implications of the case, it seems those in the banking industry have much to think about in regards to who they decide to serve as customers and the gravity of the implications when one veers out of the moral boundaries of the industry.